I'm going to show you how to do a uh, example of the assignment for for this particular module. So you're on the intro to module. You've gone through all the the lectures and tried some stuff out with the Smartboard notebook software. So I'm going to click here as a starting point. So that takes me to the learning standards. Of course, you can choose any learning standard you want that you're actually going to be licensed in. So I mean, if you're going to teach language arts, do language arts. If you're going to if you're in a multi-age program and do fine arts, that's fine. Or you head for math. Nobody should be doing physical education because we don't have PE anymore at Ashland. But science, social studies, and world languages are still appropriate. Um, unless you're going to teach technology, don't do technology. And I don't think we have anybody who's going to be a librarian. So. Um, and I'm not sure whether we have a business program still. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do language arts just because I'm very familiar with language arts. Um, so I'm going to look for the one that actually says standards. So English language arts standards. I'm going to click on that. And the page could not be found, which is really good. So, so let's go to standards in your state. And we'll visit the Ohio State homepage. And then I'm back where I started because they like to mess with me. And I guess I'll go to the website first. OK. So let's read the standards and see what happens. There we go. Yeah, the ODE website is um, confusing at best. So if at first you don't succeed, keep on browsing. All right, so I'm going to go with language, arts, and literacy standards. And I'm going to actually download the standards, which should be um, a PDF version of the document. It's just going to load my browser, but it'll probably load in Adobe Acrobat Reader for you guys. All right, so at this point, wow, it's all clickable now. At this point, I should be able to go through and find an indicator. So we're only looking for a little tiny thing, not a benchmark, an indicator. So it's the little things that add up to a larger thing. So I'm going to scroll down here for a second just to see uh, the actual standards by grades. OK, so I'm in K5 at this point. I'm going to give you an early childhood example. So we're going to go up to 3 and then We'll figure out the fourth, fifth endorsement. All right, so you see this grade two one here? Um, describe the overall, let's try that again. No, really temperamental document. Describe the overall structure of a story, including describing how the beginning introduces the story and the end concludes the story. This is what I'm going to use as my indicator. Okay. So all of these little indicators here down below here add up to a benchmark, which is craft and structure. Okay. So indicator benchmark. Got it. All right. So I'm going to copy that. So for me, because I'm using Mac, I'm just going to do command C. If your PC user you use control C, or of course you could kick it old school and do copy by right-clicking in either system. Then I'm going to go over to my smart notebook. And this is reading ahead of the script. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to knock this off. So we start with a fresh page. So hit File, New. Come on, no computer. There we go. All right, so what I'm asking for on the assignment is first you start with an ODE standard. So I'm going to paste that there. I'm going to large size it. And then I'm going to write some other stuff in there. OK, so I'm going to go here. And I'm going to put ODE common core. And that was third grade 
go back to it, and it should be about that. Yeah. And that is third grade craft and structure. Okay. Reading standards for literature. Sorry, I copied that one in. Just so Dr. Ellis knows exactly. Look at me speaking to myself in the third person. Knows exactly um, what standard you're trying to reach. Okay. All right. So drop that in there. Drop that down below. You still have access to all the usual tools. So, you know, like if I highlight this, you've got this text based tool up here. So I can bold that. If I want to, I can, you know, create little wonderful symbols. I can change the color on it. So if I want it to be bright red. Oh, but remember visual literacy. Okay, so <clears throat> that looks better. That looks worse. All right, so that's what I'm looking for on the first slide. We go to the second slide. What second slide? Well, you can add a second slide by dropping that down. And then we go insert blank slide. Okay, so that creates number two in sequence. Then I'm going to ask you to run an activity. So <clears throat> kind of this mini processing activity. So I'm going to go to gallery for a second. And I want something that sorts, just because that's what I know I need to do. Of course, you're going to have to browse through the gallery and see what works. Uh, it's not one size fits all, right? I mean, this is really, you kind of choose which, um, which battle. And let's try again here. Probably not sort. In my case, I guess I want to put something in order. So order. And that's the one I want right there. Okay. So I'll drop that on there, okay? There's a little video tutorial on some of these, so that's actually just a tutorial. I'm going to show you something, though. If I click on the Select tool, you'll see basically we have the words and this background piece that are merged together. So that's because they are grouped together, all right? So... Do, do, do. I lie, they're not grouped. They created a different structure. All right, so basically this would serve to order sentences here uh, from a story. So if we're talking about, uh, or events in a story. So let's talk about, well, Little Red Riding Hood. Okay. Red packs to go to grandma's. House. Walks through the forest. Gets to uh, I guess we meet the wolf, right? You know, she interrogates the wolf, right? What big eyes you have, the better to see what you with. All right, let's say I need to add another one on there, right? So let me drop this down for a second. Click off, click back on, drop it down, and then I should be able to clone it. All right, so then I'm going to drop that one back up there. And we know that in the end, she's eaten by the wolf. And we'll leave that there because, you know, that's the happiest of endings. So, 
What we do is we do the correct version first, right? Like we did the other day. Not the other day. The other lecture. All right. Let's say I want to change the background color on that. If I go up to the color swatches, so that's a line color. Okay. These are fill colors. So if I want to put something different, like a pink. All right, we can do that. All right, they're in the correct order. So what I want to do is clone this page, right? All right, so drop that down and then we'll clone the page. We'll go back to slide two. That will be jumbled up, right? Because that's what the students are going to do. They're going to put it in order. Okay, so we'll leave that one jumbled. We know we have the correction, so the kids will come up to the board, they'll put it in order, they'll get their hands on the board, uh, get engaged in some kinesthetic learning. Um, we go and here we are with the correction. So again, if you're dealing with 27 different phrases, um, you know, it's probably better to have the correction there for yourself. You could probably put this together just out of memory, but when things get more complex, you know, then they get complex. All right, finally, what I'm asking you to do is, let's go back here, and we will go back to that. Okay, so what I'm asking you to do is then place the net standards, um, the one that you think fits. So it, again, it's only an indicator that you think fits. So if I go back to content, and we're in module one, lo and behold, we have the IST nets for students. If I click on that, it's going to open up in a browser or in Acrobat Reader. Okay. All right. So this relates to how they're using technology, not how they're addressing curricular issues, because you already did that in the activity and you've already told me the ODE standard. So what we're actually doing is how the students are using the technology. Okay. So let's see here. So since they're little people, okay, they're third grade. So really the one that we're looking at here is six subsection A as an indicator. So I'm going to take that one, copy it. I'm going to go back, go back to this one, paste it on there. And that's the one that's being addressed. Okay, so understand the and use technology systems. Why? Well, because basically they are understanding what they can do with a smart board. The fact that they're getting up there and they can grab onto the clauses and put them in order at that level, they're doing that. Um, when we get to the other end of the spectrum, so down, you know, when they're in high school or secondary, um, you know, and they're actually identifying problems or working with data, et cetera, on the board, um, then it becomes a different set of skills. Of course, I'm not excluding the fact that we could actually have those sets of skills given a certain activity in third grade. So, for instance, if they were to chart um, something, that would be managing data um, and working with data on the board. So, it all depends on the type of activity. So, then what you'll do is you'll hit File and then Save As. Okay, I'm going to save this one as a My Notebook. Projecto. I'm going to save it just for me on my desktop so I know where it is. So I can show you guys how to put things in a Dropbox. Hit save. It saves. Go back to Angel, not Skype. Go back to Angel and hit content. Go to assignments. All your assignments are in this folder. They're all in the assignments folder. They're not in the individual modules. I like everything in one place so people know where they are. I'm going to click there. It's going to say, hey, look at that. We've got this thing that you can put a title in. I'm going to put Ellis Smart Project. And write something silly here. Hi, Dr. Ellis. 
here. Here, here, not her. 